Heritage High School students had their first day back on campus today since a school shooting last month. Newport News school leaders have created new procedures to increase safety, but as some parents told Casey Baylor, there's a lingering sense of worry. Buses and cars filled the parking lot of Heritage High School, but the return to the school is unsettling for some parents. I don't like my son being here, but he had no choice but to come to school. Any parent would be nervous. I'm very, very nervous. Kim Osborne dropped her daughter off this morning. She says over the last month, they talked about staying safe inside the building. They even developed code names for emergencies while she's at school. So we have code words for everything. Um, we just took matters into our own hands. We have to sometimes. Roughly 1,200 students returned to Heritage High School this morning. Newport News Public Schools Superintendent Dr. George Parker III says newly implemented safety measures ran smoothly this morning. It's good to see the community in the building uh, supporting the kids returning. Um, and even our security measures uh, did not take that long to get the kids through. Six security guards are stationed at Heritage High School, and a seventh is on the top floor monitoring Huntington Middle School students. The division is also increasing random bus and classroom searches, along with the use of metal detectors. Dr. Parker says the plan can be adjusted later down the road. Um, we want, to, want the staff and the students to feel comfortable coming to school, knowing that there is there are efforts in place to make sure that, that uh, illegal items are not being brought on campus. Osborne says she's just trying to breathe as her daughter is back in the building where so much chaos ensued. It's just a new beginning, a new start. We'll see what comes out of it. In Newport News, Casey Baylor, 13 News Now. In addition to the extra security and metal detectors, the division also improved its emergency text alert system, and leaders are working with the court system to get better updates about students who are accused of violent crimes. The 15-year-old suspect had pleaded guilty to a previous shooting and was being monitored while awaiting sentencing.